It's huge. Uh, I've had a couple of former uh, 2015 Miami Dolphins on my show on Locked On Lions on the podcast. Um, uh, Dion Sims, who, who many of you guys know from Orchard Lake St. Mary's in yes. Michigan State, um, and, and Jason Fox, who was the right tackle on that 2015 Dolphins team. Dion was the tight end. And both guys played for Dan Campbell. He was the interim coach for 12 games. They went five and seven. Uh, they started that season with Joe Philbin. It got ugly. It was a one and three start. They got blown out in week four. They had a bye week and Dan took over uh, for the next 12 games. And both guys said we would run through a wall for this guy. He was intense, but as a former player, it wasn't a lot of bluster and blubber. It, it, it was legit. It was, it was, it was tough and he expected a lot out of them, but he was fair. And he knew the days to take him out of pads and kind of give him a break. Um, and, and, and he knew the days to kind of lay off and he knew the days to, to, to be tough and, uh, and to uh, jump on these guys a little bit. Uh, but they enjoyed playing for him. And I think that the locker room uh, and kind of fixing that a little bit, finding some leaders, leaning on them, that's what made Jim Caldwell successful. Now, uh, Jim Caldwell might not have been the best X's and O's guy. We know about his sort of departure from the Lions when they just they couldn't get over the 9-7 and seven hump and they couldn't win a playoff game. They thought Matt Patricia was going to be the next guy to take them over that next hump, and instead it went the opposite way. Now with Dan Campbell, you're giving him a six-year contract. You're giving him time to get it done, uh, and there's going to be some patience there. He'll make some rookie mistakes, but at least those 12 games under his belt, running another franchise and being the head coach, uh, he's got a little bit of experience. 